Hi there, Zach with Vine Skills here. This is a quick little demonstration for you on some of the underlying settings that make the uh, QuickBooks Connect integration work really well uh, with your Expensify account. Uh, so we'll cover how, how do you how do you turn on or sync that advanced case cost general ledger account from your QuickBooks to your Expensify to make it available for your users to select and assign to expense. We'll also cover how to make sure you're syncing in your client list so your Expensify users can assign their expenses to a client. And then lastly, we'll, we'll kind of briefly walk through how to set up some of uh, an approval workflow uh, in Expensify. So the first thing, managing your general ledger accounts, you're gonna navigate on the left side to settings, to policies, and select your, your company there. You'll have to be in an uh, administrator role in Expensify to have permissions to do this. Um, so when you nav navigate to categories, this is going to be a complete list of all your general ledger accounts from QuickBooks. Uh, let me let me step back quick. So, in this example, we are already synced with QuickBooks Online to Expensify. That's something that's going to happen in your initial onboarding with Expensify, and your Expensify rep can help you to do. If you're already using Expensify, this will this should already be here. Um, so, anyways. This is a complete list of all your general ledger accounts from QuickBooks, and you can toggle on or off whether or not these accounts show up uh, for your users to assign to their expense reports. So we just want to come in here, we make sure we find our advanced case cost GL account, and we go ahead and toggle that on. And once we do that, just navigate to a, a report quickly here. Once we do that, we can see that that events case cost shows up in our list of categories to assign to an expense. Um, the next thing we want to look at, going back into our policies, is how to how to make sure we're syncing in our client list as well. So we'll do this by navigating to connections, and we'll find our QuickBooks Online connection section here, and we'll click configure. It'll bring up this sync options window. We'll navigate to coding, and this will kind of enable whichever whichever fields in QuickBooks you want to also have in Expensify. So you can see we already have our chart of accounts. Anyone who's syncing QuickBooks is going to have their chart of accounts for sure. The rest of these are optional. The one that is needed for the QuickBooks Connect integration is the customer slash projects. So we want to enable that. Good, we already have. Back to an expense report. turned on that gives us this option here so client so you can see we can pull from our QuickBooks list of clients we can select the one that we want to um, include in, in their advanced case cost balance cool so the next thing we want to walk through here is uh, permissions or uh, approval workflow rather so navigating back to your policies if you go to the people section you'll see everyone that's in your in your firm here if you scroll down enough, you'll get to this approval mode section. So there's a couple options for you. If you don't want any approval workflow at all, meaning as soon as an employee submits an expense report, it syncs to QuickBooks, it goes right into your general ledger. You, nobody is taking a second look at it in Expensify. This submit and close option is for you. I don't really recommend this for any business anywhere ever, but uh, if you want to do your approval in QuickBooks or your review and approval in QuickBooks, you sure can. That's how you do it. I recommend at least doing this submit and approve option. Um, this is a very simplified workflow. All this is doing is, is assigning every single expense report that is submitted in your company flows through one person. Um, in this case, it's me. So every single report that anyone in my company is submitting, um, I get a notification to review it. And it only after I approve that report well, it um, sync into QuickBooks and get into my general ledger. The reason we recommend that is just because you want to make sure that um, your employees are categorizing things right, so that so that it doesn't sync into your general ledger wrong. This is the the right place to catch that. Um, there is an advanced approval option here. This is if you have a. a a more complex structure you want to build out. Um, typically in, in larger companies, uh, I would build out an advanced approval system for them. Typically in, in large companies, you're going to have two approvers. The first approver is going to be that employee's direct supervisor who can attest to those expenses having a, bit, a valid business purpose and being within policy. 
The second reviewer is typically going to be an accountant who's going to make sure you're categorizing the right general ledger accounts and is going to control that sync into QuickBooks. So that's an option as well. Most small to mid-sized law firms probably don't need that. You probably just need to have one person reviewing all these reports, probably the same person who does your accounting in QuickBooks. Um, so there we go. Hopefully those are some useful tips for you to uh, get up, up and running with, with Expensify.